you. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got season two, episode 11 of the Ricky Gervais show. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What we got? This is Mrs. Battersby. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Battersby. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds a little interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it sounds like a teacher or somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what Mrs. Mrs. Batter, Battersby? Mrs. Battersby. Battersby. I wonder what she does. Or what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm called the teacher. I think mm-hmm. she's Carl's teacher. <laughs> Sounds like a. For the past few years, yeah. Ricky Gervais, yeah. Stephen Merchant, yeah. and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. This is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? I like a therapist. Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais. Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. The number of times I find a theory that he said in gobbledygook, but it's true. I, I think that, um, I just, I think he's been dealt a bad hand mm. in the brain department. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Thoughts, Carl? Well, your brain's in two bits, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I wonder if one half is really good, the other half's messing it up. <laughs> yeah! That's that how could I feel be case. That could be the case. Yeah, well, it is split into two, yeah, and they, and they are, are responsible for different things. Yeah. yeah. It's like these sort of families where there's a kind of really bright kid and then a sort of wayward child who just gets into drugs and stuff. Sort of like that up there. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Weird. laughs> you, have, you have quite... Sort of out there, nebulous thoughts, and you've got a lot of common sense, haven't you? And just having that uh, that other sense of like, this is dodgy. <laughs> what spider sense? Just that sense <laughs> where you just go, I don't know why, but something's telling me we shouldn't be here. When you go, all right, let's go, and you move from it, and you don't know what what that is. Yeah. You don't know what's decided that. Six yeah, it's like when you're lost. Isn't that a six sense? A yeah. part of my brain's got me lost, but then there's another bit that I don't know what it is where they go, go left. <laughs> and you do, and then you go, so, remember that time when you called me and I said I don't know where I am, and yeah. I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Think of that! Think of that! I called him! Oh my God, what are you doing? I don't know where I am. What do you mean you didn't know where you were? What, you... I got lost. I, I what, went in London, wandering. you got yeah, lost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went wandering and then, uh, you know... It's I was when like... he first moved into his new place. He was yeah. walking back from his old place to his new place and he didn't know where he was. He tried to take a shot. How can you ever really get lost in London, though? I'm just... It's um, cabby. Well, oh. yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that because you feel bad pulling one over and then saying, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't appreciate that, do they? But um, I found my way back, didn't I? Yeah. But you told me one minutes. time that you uh, that you, you much prefer getting lost. You love wandering around and getting <laughs> yeah. lost. You yeah. said that's much better. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a cold sand. day. It was a cold day. I just wanted to be at home. I had things to do. There's a time and place to be lost. Well, uh, go on. Uh, well, a place What's you don't place? know. What's the place to be lost? Somewhere you don't know. Right, good. Okay. And the time? the time? The time when, when you're not in a rush. Right. Uh, but that time I was in a rush and, and I was cold. So a typical argument in your head is what? I'm lost. Um, I'll do one. I'll do one side of the brain. You do the other side of the brain. Okay, in your head. Okay, Carl. What? This isn't where we should be. You want to go home, didn't you? This isn't your house, because it's a, it's a field. You live in a house, don't you? Why are we standing in a field? This isn't your house. You're meant to go home, but you've walked into a field. No, but that wouldn't. I've, I've never been that lost <laughs> when I'm walking across a field. At the edge of the field, I'd go, hang on a minute, this isn't right. I wouldn't get in the middle, I wouldn't go that far. I'd go, right, I definitely shouldn't be here. <laughs> you did once. You were in the middle of a field and your dad had to rescue you. Yeah, that's when I was a kid t- because I was reading as I was walking. <laughs> 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 and he never read again. <laughs> but there's another sense. I was in the middle of nettles there. 
Yeah. I'd walked. Oh, it, was it, was at, uh, it was at my brother's wedding in Cornwall, mm. and I was walking near a cliff edge. <laughs> Reading a book. Reading. And okay, so, so, uh, so, okay. So, <laughs> Carl, I know you're enjoying this book. I've got, can I have a word with you? Just look, just look past the book a minute. There's, there's just there's a big drop. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. And then, right. that's when the other senses went, hang on a minute, I'm being stung. Load of nettles and stuff. <laughs> and I just had to wait there for ages until my dad sort of thought, where's Carl? I was there for about an hour and a half. He's trying to book. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me like a cartoon. But why are you wandering off reading a book when it's your brother's wedding? No, this was like we were in. Uh, I think it was Saint. I- it's Saint Ives in Cornwall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in Saint Ives, and uh, just you know, it was a nice day and that. There was no telly in the place. It was a horrible house. Um, it's all. It was haunted. Wow. Actually. No, honestly. No, not honestly. It wasn't haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts. So, those, the, so you saying honestly it was haunted means fuck all. It's the most. It's the weirdest place and weirdest sensation I've ever had. I spoke to a woman called Mrs. Battersby. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, who sat in my bed keeping me up all night. My mum came up. She said, you look shattered. I said, yeah, I had a kip all night. She said, why? I've been talking to Mrs. Battersby. She said, who's that? I said, no, some old woman. Now, I can't remember it now, but that's what I did then. And then, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, so Mrs. Battersby didn't exist. Is that what you're saying? She was the ghost. Yeah. Wasn't the landlady? No, there was no landlady. It's a big house, about right. about twelve bedrooms in it. Right. Dead, dead cheap to stay there because it was a wreck. Uh, were you that ill? Went were out you ill? Night. Did you have flu at the no, time? No, I had nothing like that. I just. So you were sitting up, but you were awake, and you were having a conversation with Mrs. Battersby. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what did she look like? I can't remember. I can't even remember having the chat now. Right. But so at the time, I was like, oh, she just doesn't shut up. Chatting all night. So you don't remember this happening? Or you do remember it happening? No, I remember that, like, if I see my mum now and I mention St. Ives, she'll go, oh, yeah, Mrs. Battersby. She remembers coming in, because she was older than me, wasn't she? So, to hey. her, my mum. Was she? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Battersby. She was older than both She of was older, because I'm calling her Mrs. Battersby. If she was my age, I'd probably say, oh, it's Susan or whatever. Right, sure, You'd call Ma- older people Ms. Battersby. by the same yeah. name, don't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she kept oh, up on like, You know, I'm thinking of pictures at the wedding. Uh, why do you have to go through other things to just have a memory? How old do you reckon you why were? Do, what, I, I don't understand why you haven't got direct access to your memories. How old do you reckon you were? Uh, your mum was older, though, yeah? You must have a vague idea of when this well, event was. About it now I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm picturing a picture of myself at this wedding. OK. And how old are you? What are you doing? How tall I'd say you? I look about... How were you? Uh, about I'd say I look about seven or eight, looking at the picture. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. So Mrs. Battersby is chatting away to you. You don't remember what she says, but you do remember having the conversation. No, he doesn't remember it at all. I don't remember the chat now. Well, then so, why are you telling us? You must not your memory. Why are you us about it's it? Not your because memory. it's a memory. My mum's reminded me of it. Yeah, but all it says is, oh, this is so far removed. This is hearsay that your mum said you spoke to a ghost once and you don't even remember the ghost. Mrs. But, Battersby. No, yeah, you no, remember but you don't me. remember it. <laughs> reminded you of it. In a court of law, if there was a ghost court, they go, hearsay, thrown out of court. Right. You yeah. don't have a memory of Mrs. Battersby. No, look, I know that when I was a kid, yeah. I ate a beetle. I ate a beetle <laughs> because I thought it was licorice. Now, I can't remember that now. You can't remember that, but you, you know it happened because your mother told you it happened. Exactly. Right. But the fundamental thing is that we can believe... We can believe so we can believe you ate a beetle, but right, because that is something that could happen in real life. But what we're questioning is that you spoke to a ghost. <laughs> what sort of beetle was it? Just one of the standard beetles, just a black shiny. Thing is, right? A couple of years ago, we were in the ivy, and the food came, and there's a big blob of wasabi, right? It was like a, a um, called an Oriental hors d'oeuvre, right? And uh, I looked over at Carl, and he started going, uh, drinking water. I said, what was that? I said, I said, that was a blob of wasabi. He said, I thought it was one mushy pea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classy restaurant, they serve serving one mushy pea. Well, they do that, don't they? Wow. Small portions. It's all trendy, isn't it? Yeah, I love the fact that it's this, exactly the same thing. Oh. They've swapped beetle for wasabi yeah. and licorice for pea. Uh, you see things, you see something... You it's think, a good job you remember that, Annie, though, because he doesn't. <laughs> exactly, yeah. In years to come, we'll be going, 
at some wasabi once. Did you? Yeah. Well, according to Ricky, I did, yeah, I was in the eye then. I thought, I thought it were mushy pea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, I just want to go back to Mrs. Batsby, because what you other... confidently said, you confidently said, uh, it, was it, was, it was haunted, it was, it was haunted place, yeah. but you've got no real evidence for it, because even... Even you claim you had this encounter, you don't even remember it. Yeah, but you don't remember everything in life. But you do supposedly you? had a conversation with a ghost. I know, yeah. but I didn't know. When I was younger, I but didn't think that was a ghost. But you remember the specifics of an oh, urn so walking you, around? Yeah, so you thought, ah, oh, so I see. If you'd have had the memory, it would just be a nice old lady on the end of your bed all night. Right. And then. It, it, the, then when I mentioned it, my mum was saying, what do you mean, Mrs. Battersby? Who's Mrs. Battersby? Right. When you're a kid, you're not terrified, are you? No. Nothing scary. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to think who the fuck is Mrs. Battersby, I must admit. But. So, <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, but it was a weird place. I mean, there was no telly. Right. Um, all they had for sort of company was a calculator. Carl, <laughs> 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 you're wow. the strangest little man that's ever company. lived. Company, he had a company. Oh, no. There goes Carl with his friend. What's his friend? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a little... It's a Shanyo 4197G. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. The whole calculator. Do that boobs thing again. My mum and dad used to go Memories. out. Memories. I stayed in there. Just shot to him with his calculator <laughs> on the beach. Why are we friends with <laughs> calculator? Oh, God. <laughs> Just imagine the shots of him in Vietnam. He's carrying Tommy. <laughs> with the batteries. With the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the funeral for His batteries are all over the floor. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. The only company was a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> We have to face facts, I think. Go on. <laughs> the world is, is it, old. Hold on. All right, okay. The yeah, world is old. The world is old. That is a fact. Yeah, that fact. is a fact. It's the same as if you've got a gran mm. who's 70. Yeah. Um, there's not much you can do for her. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can say you're warm, mm. but at the end of the day, she's still going to be shit in her pants. <laughs> she's still going to be, you know, forgetting things mm. right. and all the rest of it. And you might be taking care of her, but at the end of the day, the good days are gone. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, in a way, like the world, it's got to a point that it's old, and yeah, we can say turn the tap off, turn the lights off, mm. uh, close the windows, stop letting heat out. Uh, the earth, in metaphorically, is shitting its pants. We are not the same as the first man that nature made. No. No, we're not, no. And that's where we went wrong. And if we didn't interfere at that point... We might have been more suited to the conditions now. <laughs> and in aura. Right. I'm cold. She doesn't want double glazing. Why not? Just because she's worried that when people come round and sort of knock on the door, she won't hear them. Because it's, <laughs> it's all sort of double glazed. But and... they're knocking on the door. <laughs> no, no, but bell. she said that, no, that she didn't like a bell. It makes her jump too much. Well, what, how, 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 how do they get in now? Well, it's the thin door and thin glass you hear. It's not like soundproof, like double glazing is. What, so they, she, they have to knock they on knock the... They knock like that on the door, and she can hear that because but it's like a wooden door. why are they going to the door? Is it a glass door? No, they want to put that PVC door in him with the thicker so glass. Hang on, so she's scared by... You don't want a doorbell because that alarms her, but the knocking is fine? The knocking's fine because you, you get to know knocks. Why don't they have a bell that when you press it, it makes that noise? Because they haven't done that yet. Well, Maybe yeah, that's yeah, an you idea. Could, you could do a sample of a... Like that. So when they press the doorbell, she hears... That's easy, that's done. You could sort that out for her. Well, I don't want to start getting dragged into it, because... <laughs> Why did you make Arnie Nora a bell that knocks? Well, he could be done. But the fact of the matter is, it isn't, and that's why she doesn't want double glazing. But why don't you tell her, say, Arnie Nora, have double glazing, be warm, be safe, hear the knock. Hear the knock of the bell on the doubly door. Arnie Nora... Hear the knock of the bell on the doubly door. She could fart until she's blue in the face. No one will be able to hear. But look. No one will be able to smell it. But this is it. Glazing. This it's is tremendous. It. This is it, though, isn't it? She wouldn't be around now if it wasn't for people interfering, coming up with tablets, uh, m making weak people live longer. Right. Are you annoyed at that? You're annoyed. I know he's such a fascist, <laughs> isn't he? And yeah. you're a weak person who has been allowed <laughs> yeah. to live. Yeah. No, Eugenics the, but, is where you'd, you'd be up here. I, I, but don't you see what I'm saying, though? The way the world... We've, we've changed more than the world has. <laughs> we can't handle anything now, can we? Look at it, like I say, a bit of snow, a bit of cold, everything comes to a standstill. Yeah. Oh, I can't go out, it's dangerous, you'll slip over. People having time off work. Yeah. 
What would you do, right? If you run a business, right, your business could go under, right? Um, it snows a bit. You've got ten employees. You're paying them well. And they go, I can't come in today, Carl. A bit icy. I'll do, I'll do it, OK? Right, they're snowed in, right? You're running the business. What are you running? It's a... Uh, let's not... Don't, you know, don't I'm not going to big myself up. It's just a, no, it's a factory. It, it, it's it's you bends I make you, No, don't, don't U-Bends. Yeah. U-Bends for... You know, Toilet. Yeah. So you run a... OK, right, OK. So, so you, you pay them all right, don't you? I'd say most of them are on above average. So you're there. What time do you get in? Um, about quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, waiting for them to come in at nine, yeah? Yeah. OK, right, it's snowing. It's a bit snow, snowy. You got there. It took you a bit while. You set off early, did you? Or? Gave myself a bit more time because I had to put the heating on the car. OK. Ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello, uh, uh, KP Plumbing. Oh, uh, is that is that Miss Pilkerton? Yeah, it is, yeah. Who's that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Sheila. Um... Listen. Sheila, shouldn't you be here by now? Yeah, no. Um, I was going to set off. <laughs> well, we'll set off now. Stop wasting time. We've got a big order on. No, I know. We're all but... on a bonus here if we get this done. I'll see you in uh, ten minutes, shall I? I can't make it. What? I can't make it. Why not? The car won't start and it's slippy on the drive. I just can't get out. Get the transport. I'll see you in... I'll give you 20 minutes, all right? Don't no, worry about it. No, call, I can't, I'll see you I'm also scared of the ice. I'm scared of the ice. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to come in today. It's dangerous. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to wait until the ice <laughs> and snow goes away and then but I'm going to come But in. they're predicting it's going to be about two weeks before yeah, they turn I'm this. Gonna, I can't really travel in this. It's oh, a bit dangerous. Well, I'll tell you what. You stay at home. I'll, uh, I'll replace you. Because I need someone to come in with well, you're me because I can't get into work with this. This well, I, I got think... into work, Sheila. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you don't live with me, do you? If you did live with me, then no, you'd probably it see how... It was bad where I was as well. Yeah, I'm here. Do you know how bad it is here? When you come round and have a look how bad I'm, it is here, no, you drive I'm my... Tell you what, you come round and drive my fucking car because I'm snowed <laughs> in. you fucking calling me a cunt. And I'll tell you, if you fire me, I'll tell you to drive you and you bald headed wanker. Right, you're fired anyway for, for that. You're in <laughs> fucking trouble then. Mm, right then, see ya. Right, and right. then she's, she's ah. done with. She's weak anyway. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. KP Plumbing. Oh, yeah, uh, is that uh, Miss Pilkerton? Yeah, it is, yeah. Hi, it's Bobby. Oh, um, Bob. Yeah, um, bit of trouble. Um, uh, in my area, it's absolutely snowing, it's possible. No one's getting out. I live near Sheila. Bob, listen, yeah, well, yeah. Sheila's just been on. She's saying she All can't right. get any either. She can't. I've just seen her out there trying to dig her car out, and she's at her back. She's really, really tried hard to get to work, but she can't do it because she's, she's not very rich and her car doesn't work. She has got the right tyres. And there's no public transport. They've cancelled those. Wrong snow on uh, this country. I'm not going to make it in today, son, so um, I'll see you tomorrow, right, boy? <laughs> well, no, you're saying you'll see me mm. tomorrow. Yeah. But but you'll probably call up tomorrow with the same thing. Well, only now, if it's snowing still. Now, listen, it might not well, some... I, can't, I can't run a business like this, Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's not my fault, is it, really? So go round to Sheila's <laughs> and, and, like, slag me off if you want. But I'll tell you what, you're not coming just... back here. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> one chance. <laughs> Give them one chance. Oh. Well, you didn't even <laughs> give them one chance. No, because they've done it before. <laughs> Annoys me. Ah, <sighs> uh, it is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bastard! He's only gone and written it down. <laughs> the jingle there to announce a yet another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary. Um, my mum called me to ask me to look in some of the magazine shops in London for a magazine that she can't find. It's called UFO Data. <laughs> I said, I ain't heard of it. She said she's seen an advert for it in one of her ghost magazines. I love the fact that she can't even find the magazine about unidentified flying objects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we get, uh, we get a clue She there. thinks, I think I saw something, but I don't know whether it was a magazine or not. <laughs> so we get, uh, we get a clue there as to why you, you uh, give any credence to this crap. Yeah, well, it's, oh, you know, I mean... Mama Pilkington's into the same shit. There's a lot of space out there. Isn't there? <laughs> she said that this magazine has got new story about how Aldrin (brackets astronaut) has got some evidence that aliens exist. Mm. Yeah. I told her that I found out today that the days are about 36 minutes longer on Mars. We chatted about how this is how they are more advanced than us. Do you mean the Martians? Yeah. If they've if they've got a longer day, that's more time that they're awake working on stuff. Right. Yeah. We know that makes no difference at all. No, it does. Think about it. Think yeah. about it. Look, think about it. Six o'clock here. Yeah. People are going, see you tomorrow. I'm going home. They'll be going, oh, another half hour. They've got a longer day. Productive. <laughs> and that's why they're able to fly. That's why they're whizzing around. To fly. Yeah, oh, over the years. Christ almighty, what drivel.
Suzanne got in from work at 11.30. I told her about the UFOs in Mars. <laughs> she said she's too tired to chat. Uh, I said, does it mean aliens will be more tired than us or do they get more sleep? I got no answer. <laughs> I love it when Suzanne goes in. She never indulges no, you. No, it because... scares her. Anything with ghosts and UFOs, she sort of... It doesn't scare her, it, it bores her. her. No. <laughs> 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 scares her. <laughs> okay. Read about a pub that is getting some stick because they've stopped a horse going in. It's been the horses regular for ages, but there's been some new owners who've taken over the pub and they said they're serving fresh fruit and don't want a horse in there anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. I met Suzanne after she finished work and we went for a brew in another cafe. God, Jesus. It's always having a brew in a cafe. It's like a sitcom. (laughs) It is. Suzanne said I looked tired and fed up. She taught me some way to breathe that will relax me. I wasn't feeling that relaxed, though, because the person behind the counter was banging about making a coffee. Noise stresses me out. I wonder if less deaf people die of stress than people with working ears do. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's the theories. It's the theories. It is such a noisy world, though, isn't it? It is. London is noisy, very noisy. I think just everywhere, just noise in general. They were saying how, like, every noise has been used... At least five times or something. What do you mean? <laughs> because there's only so many noises in the world. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. No, there's only so many what noises. What do you mean every noise has been used five times? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Because I've, I... every noise once has been used at least five times. <laughs> there's only so many noises. It's like a piano, isn't there? There's only so many notes. Yeah. And there's only so many noises. Right. But because there's so much stuff... The same noises are being used again. I don't know what that means. <laughs> By who? <laughs> Who's reusing the noise? By whatever. So, so a woodpecker like, when it's woodpecking. Yeah, yeah. Some some birds make noises that would sound like a Ford Escort. Just because there's there's only so many noises that people can use. <laughs> what is he talking about? Noises are a byproduct. Outside yeah. an instrument. Yeah. Noises um, are a byproduct. They a machine. They don't go. What should we make this <laughs> noise? Make this machine. It, it makes the noise it makes yeah, when but, it's doing something. But why does it make that noise? Why not pick another noise? They don't pick well, the noise. Who's picking noise? Noise? That's a printing what... press makes the noise because it's the sound of the thing yeah. going down. Yeah, you so know, print... a hammer makes that noise because that's what it does. No one's going. Oh, can we make this make a different noise? No, it's it's a byproduct. I it's, know. So there's only so many noises. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> when Stevenson <laughs> Rock came, I went. <laughs> I went. Can you make it go? <laughs> it's what. That's the noise it made. I know, but then, say like a new frog comes out. Oh, for f- what do you mean a new uh, frog comes out? They find a new type of frog. Right. It makes a noise, and yeah. they'll go. Yeah, I knew it was going to sound like that. What are you talking because about? Because there's only so many noises. Nothing, no, no animal comes out and makes like a weird noise and you go, I've never heard that noise before. They go, oh, that sounds like a chicken. Or it sounds like a Ford Escort. Or there's only so many what noises. What frog sounds like a Ford Escort? Well, no, no, there can't be many because you've used Ford Escort twice as an analogy here. <laughs> so you're running out of noises. You've I come can't. up with chicken and Escort so far. I can't explain But the problem it. is a Ford Escort sounds a bit like an Austin Allegro. So I, I know, know, yeah, yeah. And a chicken. <laughs> you're ripping off the turkey, you gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I kind of think I know what he means. Like I kind of think I know what he means. <laughs> But, but, they sound, but, but definitely, I mean, the five times, they definitely wrong with that. But, I mean, definitely the, like, sounds, like, I mean, <clears throat> there, there's so many sounds. Like, sounds have been used millions of times over for different things, especially instrumental to, like, you know what I'm saying? And then if you go to sounds that, that things make, like, combustion engines and shit, that's the sound of something combusting. It's not going to sound like anything else, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, man. Have we he, used every color? Has there? Have we seen every color there is? Yeah, but that's something a little different. I mean, yeah, imagine maybe a color could be made. Maybe I don't know. I that's don't what I'm know. saying. I mean, I don't know. That we created every color. I don't know. Maybe if you found, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. And you thought that he would have learned, you know what I'm saying, definitely from eating things without knowing what they are, you know, especially from the from the cricket or from, from the beetle <laughs> thinking it was licorice. Like, oh. That's, wow. what, that's what accidents happen. How do you die? That yeah. <laughs> nigga eat some poisonous shit. Yeah. And, and, and my God, are peas that delicious? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't Bushy think... peas, apparently. Oh, Bushy man. peas. They just grab it and eat it before, like, anybody else sees it. You know, they probably try to get it first. Like, oh. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, oh. Like, oh, no. You don't want to fuck with wasabi. Mm. Wasabi peas. will tear you. All your senses up. <laughs> Especially that much. Like a spoonful of wasabi. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's like some peppers or some ghost peppers or some shit. <sighs> Maybe worse. Yeah. 